This time I won't forever, forever, forever. We welcome you to Vaughn Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi. It just couldn't be more perfect. 63 degrees. And Vaughn Hemingway Stadium has been sold out for 60,000 plus. We will be filled beyond capacity at Vaughn Hemingway. This is the place to be in college football right now. You feel what I feel? <laughs> it's goosebump time in Oxford, Mississippi. And the Rebels take the field. This time, Ernest oh. Hammered! Oh, boom! Snap round! Oh, the one-handed round! Wow. McAllister, deuce, is loose! Intercepted by Hamilton! Robinson in a big hit, the 15-yard line. Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis. <laughs> Heads to the sidelines on a drop step. He's to the 10, he's to the 5! Touchdown! Rebels! Manning going to the end zone! And then Manning showed why many say he is the best running quarterback Ole Miss has ever had, with a brilliant 24-yard scamper through the entire Bulldog team. Nestled in the hills of North Mississippi lies Oxford, home to the nationally renowned University of Mississippi. Better known as Ole Miss, it is the flagship for higher learning in the Magnolia State, situated quaintly between the Holly Springs National Forest and the Sardis Lake Watershed. Ole Miss student-athletes enjoy a cozy southern climate, with temperatures ranging from the 60s to 80s throughout most of the year, never too hot and never too cold. The weather seldom stands in the way of a rebel student athlete's opportunity to train and enjoy the outdoors. Described as the cultural mecca of the South, creativity flourishes in Oxford, as musicians, artists, and writers alike find inspiration in the town's rich history, charm, and creative community. Over the years, Oxford has also become known for offering exceptional culinary experiences from down-home soul food to upscale fine dining, Oxford is a food lover's oasis. Memphis, the birthplace of rock and roll and home of the blues is right up the road. Whether it's indulging on the legendary barbecue, tapping your foot to the blues on Beale Street, or catching the hometown Memphis Grizzlies at the FedEx Forum, Old Miss student-athletes will always have something new to immerse themselves in. The University of Mississippi has a global reputation as one of the best universities in the world. With a student-to-faculty ratio of 18 to 1, and with 43% of classrooms containing fewer than 20 students, Old Miss offers the student hands-on experience and personal attention in their chosen field. Invigorating classroom engagement and a passionate faculty of instructors bring the education to life. The University of Mississippi has recently been awarded R1 status, placing them in the top 2.5% in the nation in higher education research. As for time spent away from athletic fields and lecture halls, Ole Miss student-athletes are treated to one of the safest and most picturesque campuses that the nation has to offer. Evidenced by being ranked number one most beautiful campus three of the past six years. To match the greatness evident within the academic arena and campus environment, the Ole Miss Athletic Department has kept pace. Powered by the Forward Together campaign, a $200 million mission to advance Ole Miss facilities and give Rebel student-athletes premier training grounds and state-of-the-art accommodations for competition. Started in the spring of 2011, Forward Together has dramatically changed the face of Ole Miss athletics and, in turn, has led to our programs continually resetting the bar of athletic excellence. Moody penetrates, throws up the layup, it's gone! for most home wins. Ole Miss knocks off ninth ring Kentucky. Touchdown, Laquan Treadwell. He is the new Ole Miss record holder for touchdowns in a season. And he pours it in in style, and there is 
your 2017 men's individual champion. The 2013 NCAA champion repeats. Two kicks. Swung on, line drive, center field. It's a walk-off base hit for Gatlin, and the Rebels stay alive in the College World Series. Caught at first. Hotty Toddy Ole Miss wins the SEC championship for the first time. To go along with success on the collegiate level, Old Miss student athletes represent and succeed on a global scale as well. Loading everything at the top, that is an impressive clearance. The furthest jump in the world this year. The two time world champion Brittany Reese was fifth in Beijing. In London, the American wins gold. On the gridiron, Coach Luke brings an earnest, hard-nosed, blue-collar brand of football to Oxford. The Gulfport, Mississippi native and second-generation rebel believes wholeheartedly in a family-oriented, relational approach to leading his team, apparent in his motto, you don't have to be blood to be family, you just have to be real. Go get it. He's gone, baby! Hey, he's gone! How about that right now? <laughs> Offensively, Ole Miss had both a 1,000-yard running back and 1,000-yard receiver for just the second time in school history under the command of coordinator Phil Longo, whose philosophy of chasing space lit up scoreboards last season. The Rebels had three games in which they recorded multiple 60-yard touchdown passes. The rest of the SEC had only one such game. That's where you jamming, baby! Hey, come here! That's where you jamming, baby! That's where you jamming! Opposite Longo is fiery defensive coordinator Wesley McGriff, whose Landshark defense featured all SEC defensive end Marquise Haynes and Demarcus Gates. Haynes finished his stellar career as the all-time career leader in both sacks and tackles for loss, while Gates led the Rebels for the third straight year in tackles with 114. The future is bright as the Rebels look to compete for championships in the nation's best conference. Sunday is the day Rebel greats shine in the NFL. Since 2000, Ole Miss has produced 10 first-round draft picks and 29 additional selections. The Minnesota Vikings select Jaquan Frederick, wide receiver, Ole Miss. What they want to see out of him. He makes a heck of a catch on this. Dexter McCluster. Dexter McCluster. Look at the moves. Touchdown, Kansas City. Third and seven. The blitz is coming. Heineke can't get away from Hilton, who's had a huge sack game. Yeah, he got all three. Not a luck throws in. for the touchdown. The Miami Dolphins select Laramie Tunsil. Oh man. It just looks so easy for him for a big man. He can redirect. He can do a lot of things naturally. And it's intercepted. Jamarcus Sanford and Bolden breaking tackles goes into the end zone. Lobs it. Burris alone. Touchdown New York. The Giants have won the Super Bowl. Evan Engram, tight end. Ole Miss. And now this dynamic tight end out of Ole Miss for Eli Manning out of Ole Miss. Smith fires. Oh, oh what a catch oh, by Evan Ingram. Spectacular. Wow. Patrick Willis. He leads the NFL at, from a linebacker standpoint in holy smoke plays. Good hands. Mike Wallace. Stick on. Wallace has got speed. Mike Wallace down the sideline. A complete foot race. Wallace going all the way. Touchdown, Baltimore! Robert Kubicki. Yeah! Defensive tackle, Ole Miss. And it's picked up. The guy is a disruptor. It's what he does. Now the sideline, it is brought in by Cody Core. The fifth round pick out of Ole Miss. Intercepted by Elston. Trey Elston. 99 and a half yards, maybe more. <laughs> Follow him into the jungle. There is a valid distinction between the university and Ole Miss, even though the separate threads are closely interwoven. The university is buildings, trees, and people. Ole Miss's mood, emotion, and personality. One is physical and the other spiritual. One tangible and the other intangible. 
The university is respected, but old Miss is loved. For anyone without that love, it does not exist. The university is geographical, but old Miss is universal. There are many universities, but there is only one Ole Miss. What then is Ole Miss? Ole Miss is intimate and personal, with a special meaning to each one. It is as elusive to define as capturing the cloud. Ole Miss is the grove where in the spring, the soft whispering breeze sings through the high lifted branches of the trees its sweetest songs and where on crisp autumn Saturdays are lavishly spread the most massive picnics ever conceived. Old Miss is a six-year-old, proudly labeled with a big 18 on his back. Old Miss is in Yankee Stadium and Wrigley Field, Atlantic City and Tulane Stadium, or wherever its people are, together or alone. Old Miss is a smile of recognition, an excited embrace, a warm handshake, a friend in every town, village, and hamlet from Tunica to Tylertown and Pontotoc to Pascagoula. Ole Miss, too, is a quiet meditation under blue skies on Sardis Lake or in an ancient country church at College Hill. Ole Miss is an unbreakable unity, a lasting living bond between those past and those present and those to come. Ole Miss is a million memories a million dreams, a million hopes, a million aims blended into one viable, regenerating totality of experience and aspiration. The university gives a diploma and regretfully terminates tenure. But one never graduates from Ole Miss.